the Joe Rogan experience. So that there was one other thing that we wanted to talk about when we first started. One of them was the Jeffrey Epstein. Do you remember what the other one was? You were going to show me the Jeffrey Epstein, oh, well, so I got so, I'm such a child. I'm like, I'm thing, and then uh, George Lopez's comment. Oh, like, that's oh, yeah. it. That's it. So, and then there's a there's a bounty on Trump's head. I guess I don't know how anyone heard it or where they listed it, but I read it on Twitter, and then people were making jokes Who about said, it. How much is the bounty? Eighty million from somewhere in Iran, or I don't know. Hmm. If you got to bet DSI, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine if they nuke Trump. Where does the world stand? If they only drop one nuke and it's on the White House, small one, little baby nuke, just levels the entire building and everything near it. Well, I, Iran jumped or dropped out of their the uh, nuclear accord, so they're going to start enriching uranium again. Trump, said. though, tweeted, <sighs> Iran does not have any nuclear weapons, exclamation point, hashtag something. Right, but they can get them. Yeah. This is so crazy. This seems like... For the first time in a long time, I'm thinking we could go to war with a country. Like this seems crazy. The internet jumped into World War Three memes immediately. Uh, instantly. Became... <laughs> Twenty four hours of straight jokes. What do you think happens? I don't know. I don't even know what's happening right now. It could be could, stuff could be happening right now. It's what did the guy do? Because Dan Crenshaw was saying that he organized the attack on the embassy, and that he was organizing other attacks on U.S. sites. He was a bad guy, supposedly. He like there was there is some stuff saying like he is a bad guy. It's just how Trump did it is how the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, he did help uh, fight ISIS a lot, uh, also. Uh, so he he wasn't he was a really bad guy, but there was points like he. The biggest problem is that Trump just went out and pretty much assassinated him, you know, right. like instead of dealing with it like an adult. Do you imagine when they went through all those other like really finely detailed points? This is a strategy we can employ or we can just take him out with a missile. Did he? I read he was <laughs> trolling Trump too, like trolling him on Twitter. I don't know if that was true. If that guy <laughs> that had a guy was? Yeah, and it's like publicly talking Oh my talking God. Shit to him. Could you imagine <laughs> if that guy was trolling Trump and Trump killed him? Yeah. Oh my there, god! He was talking about his hands or something. Oh my god! Imagine, <laughs> imagine you talking about his orange skin, his fake hair, and his fucking baby hands. And he's like, "Oh yeah, fucking baby hands." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He got into a meme battle with Trump. I, hope no. this, I might have googled it too quick. It could be a fake site. I don't think it is. The Daily Dot but, is that a fake site? Uh, maybe, maybe it was too quick. I don't know. The Daily Dot is know. that a real website? I. I I'm trying to confirm. Okay. This other side, these other things look real. I Keep think. us posted. Okay. I don't want to comment just yeah, yet because yeah. I have a feeling I have a lot to say about this. <laughs> I want to see what the memes are. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy, man. It's so crazy that this fucking, this situation that we find ourselves in when none of us who are listening to this had anything to do with any of this shit that might kill a million people. None of us. None of us. And then our leaders... Like that we, we've been so roped in this fucking Game of Thrones mentality that our, our leaders are going to make these critical decisions for us and they're going to be in charge of whether what kind of diplomacy we employ on, on other nations. They're going to represent us in the most personal way possible, like the way he does it. Like the way Trump does it, that's personal. That's how he is. So he's standing for us, but he's standing up for himself as a person. There's part of that too, right? Like he doesn't want to be fucked with. He wants you to know. The United States is not going to be fucked with me in charge. They're like, yeah. So it's like him. He's the one out there. And he's the one they go, you can, you can just nuke the guy. He's like, well, fuck, I'll, I'll just nuke him. Commander of the Islamic Rev Rev Revolution Guards Corps. Uh, Force Major General, how do you say his name? Qasim Soleimani. Qasim? Qasim? I don't know how to say the first name. Soleimani, I think. S Soleimani. Responded to U.S. President Donald Trump's announcement of sanctions are coming with a Game of Thrones-inspired meme of his own. Oh, my gosh. And it says, I will stand against you. And it has the Game of Thrones, like, O oh, and you. So he put that up, and then Trump... Yeah, this is a couple months ago, but I but think... That, he yeah, remembers. This is bro. November uh, 2018. Actually, a year ago. Bro, so. he's got that speed memory. Trump, Trump can remember shit. This motherfucker owes me since the 70s. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. A guy memes you and then you murder him. Woo! Jesus Christ. Baked Alaska better hide.
<laughs> and it was a Game of Thrones thing. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so crazy that these worlds have collided. And only. then, what do you think? Putin is probably laughing his ass off right now. He's probably got his feet up on the chair, smoking a cigar, just laughing and laughing, watching this chaos play out. And then, for sure, he's going to help Iran. For sure. Anything that destabilizes his number one competitor. That's what China's going to do, too. This is so dumb. It's all so scary. But it's also one of those things where we don't know what the fuck is going on. So it could have been the right move. We don't know. I mean, it might, it might have been the thing you have to do to avoid more, more deaths. China, Russia, and Iran hold joint naval drills in the Gulf of Oman. Oh, terrific. <laughs> That's great. China, Russia, and Iran together. We're getting to some World War III shit here. That's World War III. That is like when Italy was joined in Germany. I mean, that's what that is. We should probably get away from the coast. Bro, <laughs> imagine, imagine if this fucking guy gets us into World War III by deciding to do that and then have all these crazy threats. See, the rest of the world does not want to think. This is one of the things, like, if you think you're the baddest motherfucker and you represent the baddest country... You got to kind of almost be like a real baddest motherfucker, like a guy like Stipe Miocic, like a UFC heavyweight champ. They don't go around saying they're going to kick everybody's ass because everybody already knows it. And if you, you, you start saying that you're going to be able to do whatever you want and maybe even do it in a disproportionate manner, all the other countries are like, why do you have any power? Like, who are you, man? And they say, like, we're, we're really powerful. We all get together, bitch. You can pre you're pretending you're more powerful than everybody? That's a weird thing to do. It's a weird chest-puffing strategy to take on a country that has allies. That's where it gets fucked up. It's not just Iran, Iran. It's all Iran's allies. They all get together. Now you have a giant force of people and nuclear weapons. Congratulations. Did you guys play chess or did you play checkers growing up? How the fuck are you just a tic-tac-toe ace? And you didn't see this coming? This is why it's really important to have, you know, people have to be able to talk. Have to be able to have dialogue. Did you see this tweet that he said before? Yes. The one, yeah, targeted 52 Iranian sites representing the 52 American hostages taken by Iran many years ago. Bro, that was during the Carter administration. I think we can let that go. <laughs> These are not the same fucking people. Those right. people are all dead. This, that's crazy. Uh, so this is more team mentality. Yeah. That, but that'll get the yokels. All the fucking, yeah. All the dudes just jump off the tractor, jacking off into the fields, and they hear that. Like, yeah. Fucking get him, Trump. Woo. <laughs> this shit could get hot. <laughs> this could get hot, and it could get real. And if he really has the ability to do that, what other calls does he have the ability to do? Is there ever going to be another moment like that where Iran boxes in a ship and then he sends in a fighter jet. I mean, is this going to really fucking happen? Because then none of us can go anywhere. We have to hide. And we got to get out of L.A. because they're definitely going to nuke that. Like, this is because imagine the movie if it all played out like that. And like a Stephen King movie made a thing about a game show host that eventually becomes the president of the United States and starts a war while he's on speed. Do that every day <laughs> when I'm really high. Well, now I'm getting there. I was not getting there before. Um, this was enough to make me go, "Holy shit!" Like, is there a better way to handle that than blasting that guy with a robot from the sky? Like, where did we start? I don't know, man. It's I don't want to know. Right. You don't want to know that all over the world, these little pieces are in motion that are trying to protect us from terrorists, and trying to make sure that they stop ISIS, and this sect is growing here, and these people are getting shot there, and then what about the cartels, and they're getting up this money? If you would be paralyzed by fear, if you took in all the information on all the fucking danger all over the world, you'd be paralyzed by fear. So I was, I was, when I was in Vegas while this was happening this weekend, if you didn't look at your phone, you wouldn't have known. Yeah. Any of this was going on. No, I didn't hear anybody talking about it. Yeah, I didn't either. All around. That was the good thing about being off social media. And this is, was my point in the first place. By the time things get to me, it's, it's already been sort of distributed better. 
you know, I'll get a, you know, I'll have to jump on right away and it becomes the focus of my day long before we know anything. And I keep refreshing CNN every five minutes. I'm scared. Like legitimately. This is like for the first time in a long time um, since like 9-11 where I'm legitimately like, oh, oh, this is, this is some real shit. This could be really bad. Because if he says he's going to do something in a disproportionate manner, he's threatening them. He's calling their bluff. Bro, this is so dangerous. So dangerous. Because all they have to do is just nuke Hawaii. Do something like that. Where the rest of the world would be like, hey, 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 what are we going to do? We're going to kill each other everywhere? Everyone? Because that's what could happen. This like mutually assured destruction was always supposed to be the, the big impediment. That mutually assured destruction. If we knew that if we shot them, they'd shoot us, we'd all be dead. That that's what kept us from using bombs. But who the fuck knows, man? What if Iran just says, listen, if we just sneak a bomb in, by the time it's detonated, they won't even have a chance to respond. The whole system will be fucked. Their grid will be down. All their entertainment will be down. Everything will be down. And then the rest of the world can figure out a way to unite together and take over the power that the United States once enjoyed. They were abusing that power. They were the number one superpower in the world, and they let their guy take diet pills and threaten everybody on Twitter. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know if he takes diet pills. He had them in his dresser, but I don't even know if those are his. <laughs> I just want to say... 